Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open final LP robot 028 and I'm gonna prepare this to get exported to Marvel Set 2 bag. So first thing I wanna do is make sure I have my robot selected and I'm just gonna reset the X form. I'm gonna convert this to poly and now I'm gonna go to export export selected and in the window I'll go to my working folder and I'm gonna export this as obj file I'm gonna call this low poly robots and I'm gonna select none I'm gonna turn off those things I'm gonna leave this as quads and I want my scale to be one so I'm gonna export this and now inside of Marmoset 2 bag I'm gonna go and open mesh and I go to my folder and I'm just gonna load the mesh here you can see I have the mesh the navigation for this is without and left mouse button right mouse button to zoom while holding the out and with left mouse button and holding out I can rotate so the next thing I want to do now is I can go to my materials and I can go to the normal map height map and I'm gonna clear this and I'm just gonna click on it and I will quickly come and load my textures so I'm gonna load the robot normal since it's with uh, Maya settings it will look quite okay so if I press spacebar and then F to zoom I can take overall very quick look of the normal map and how it looks I'm gonna hold shift and left mouse button and move just to check the light quickly so as you can see we have the normal map quite well so this is normal up so far and as you can remember inside of photoshop we did export another one which was a little bit enhanced so i'm just gonna quickly export this one and override the other one so i'm gonna write this as normal up two just this is gonna be a quick test but we want to see how it looks so if I open now the second one you can notice that we have a little bit more detail right now and those pieces kind of pop out a little bit more it's kind of a nice effect I like it so far so we're gonna check the fingers and the other parts of the body Right, anything looks kind of okay. So from here on, we're gonna leave this chapter like it is, and in our next chapter, we're gonna start texturing our robot, and we're gonna go constantly between Photoshop, where we're gonna create the textures, to Marmoset just to preview how it looks, because seeing our thing inside of a game engine is better than just in Max. We can set the settings here inside of Max, but what we're gonna do mainly in Max in those chapters, which we're gonna continue on as for texturing. Well, we're gonna use it to wrap textures and do other things like that. So mainly, I'm not gonna need that much free stream Max at this point for the robot until we do all of the textures. So in our next chapter, we're gonna continue on from here, and we're gonna focus on the texturing of the robot itself.